first of all, he's kept my shit because I want to him. I said, nigga, I'm not you. You're lame as fuck. You didn't give me no energy. When I woke up in the morning, I said, let's go get something to eat on me. You didn't want to get up to go eat, nigga. You think I'm going to sit around? Here it goes two, three hours later, and he's still laying in bed talking about, I'm going to get up soon. All right, bet. So what I do, hit up the next person. I got up and I left. And I took care of my needs. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you fly somebody out. If you're not giving what you're supposed to give when you fly a bitch out, I'm not f***ing you just because you flew me out, bro. That's so, your choice. So why if accept you the flight? What you mean why accept the flight? That's what I'm, saying, like, you know, I'm accepting the, the fact that you want to, a, you want my you, time. No, you're not letting me answer. don't give a f about your time. You know what we want. Y'all say it in every song. Y'all say it in every post. I don't rap. Y'all know. Y'all say it in every song we are rapping. I'm F R E. Y'all say no, it I don't even say so that. Y'all know exactly what we want. <laughs> so if we fly y'all out, y'all right. know we want to. So like you know right. that nobody no. wants your. Before time. I catch a flight, I have the conversation beforehand. When I come out there, I know okay. what you want, but you're not getting me if you're not giving me what I need. So you probably no, not a. That's literally what you said though. So what's the bitch just for free? That's a person who likes to who enjoys. Yeah, that's sad. That's embarrassing. You're getting your heart broke. You catch your STD and everything else for free. No. What do you mean? You can protect yourself. No. Put it on a no. Anyways, I'm saying per experience of over a few years. So okay. at the end of the day. I think it's fair to say that women who flex their hindquarters all over Instagram are digital strumpets. They don't walk corners. They walk on the Instagram explore page. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, it's your life, mama. Do whatever it is that you want with it. But just please be honest about what you do and accept the title. Don't call yourself a baddie, call yourself a digital strumpet. And the worst part about all of this is that so many young girls just watch and consume this content, and I hear so many of them saying shit like, of course, why would I do some shit like that for free? But these women never show the negative repercussions or consequences of living this type of a lifestyle. They wanna extract the experience that you can provide, whether it be the trip, bags, money for the credit card machine that exists between their legs at the end of the day it's a free country do what you want but also deal with the consequences hi y'all my name is l and i'm actually here in oakland for just a little bit i'm moving back to oregon soon but i'm a bad girl because i actually started only fans when i was 18 and i was able to move out of my parents house and i was able to get a house of my own and like rent out the rooms and like yeah. How much you made on OnlyFans? I've made ten thousand dollars. So two thousand? Ten thousand in the past month. And no, how long? Next, sorry. Thank you. You are so <laughs> just. You're cute. You're very sorry. cute. Girl. You are just so sweet, honey. They would accidentally be trash. They will whoop wow. your ass. But no. Oh no, I can fight. I beat up my neighbor. Next, I beat next. up my neighbor. She told me she stole next, my car. Next. <laughs> Yo. Hi, yo. Yo, this world is just, yeah, just, just send the asteroid. <laughs> like, we need a reset. We need a redo at this point. Yo, they heard that she made $10,000 a month on OnlyFans and escorted her off the premises immediately. Like, if that's not jealousy, I don't know what is. Yo, a wise man once said that no one gives women bad advice like other women. Why? Because no one hates women like other women. You can't just tell me I have two weeks to find somewhere. You've had over a month. And no, I haven't. Look, you have done nothing but dig your heels in and try and make me feel bad about you. No, I haven't. I've been trying to educate you. No, oh, God. education is brainwashing. No, it's not. You just won't listen to me. No, I'm not going to listen to this crap. Now you talk. I have schizophrenia. I don't care what you have. I don't. <laughs> it doesn't mean we live in squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. You, I'm not even a bully. You literally dead need me, misgender me, and tell me that. Well done, mother. Get her out of there. If she actually was diagnosed from a doctor to have schizophrenia, well, there's resources for that. She'd have access to Medicaid. She'd have access to group homes. She'd have access to things. So this more than likely is a self-diagnosis and just another way for her to bully her mother to staying in a place that she lives in complete squalor within. How about instead of activating your special schizophrenia victim trap card, you get a job. What's the problem? Oh, cause you gotta take your piercings out your nose and color your hair a normal color. What I've noticed so frequently about these far left crazy types is that 
Their only way to get out of situations of accountability and responsibility is to solely rely on these weird narratives that are pushed by mainstream media as well as these academic institutions. And then they want to activate their special victim trap cards like You triggered my trap card! Dead naming misgender fairy go! Harassment dragon go! Throw out a potent potion of self-diagnosed mental illness go! But when faced with real life tasks that adults have to engage into, such as cleaning up for yourself, contributing to the cost of living once you're over the age of 18 years old, practicing discipline, getting a job that you can sustain so you can pay for the lifestyle that you live. That's when the reality crumbles and victimhood rears its ugly seven-headed head. But it's always hilarious to see that once they're extracted from their echo chambers and have to face and deal with the realities of the world, they begin to realize that their BS theories no longer work. Good job, mom. If you were dating a traditional guy, in what ways would you be traditional? Would you listen to what he says? I wouldn't. Would you let him lead? Fuck other dudes. Okay. Uh, yeah, like li listen to him, let him lead. Like, yeah, that's like one way is just like listening and like respecting like the conversations he has or like just like, yeah, I mean like listening. I mean, there's just not a lot a like doll? you can do to like leave like a huge first impression besides like what she said, like being yourself. Mm -hmm. Sure. Like it's just like, I mean, until the relationship progresses, there's just not a lot of things like a girl yeah. can do to show her appreciation it's towards not, the guy that she's with. It's not wet. until further. And you said I mean, the big initial one, stage. The big one is, is fidelity. Them to but like, the big I mean, one is pay, fidelity. Like, well, you're not dating yet. Right. So but, you expect the girl to okay, be the loyal most, to you before on the first date? That is probably the most attractive thing a girl could do. <laughs> but it's not is reciprocated. Is saying, I'm not seeing other Look guys fight it. right now. I'm just talking to you. That is probably the most attractive thing a girl could do I, or that say. Is, that's I can not guarantee you in that on a first date. I can guarantee you that on a third. But I mean, on the first day, I'm still feeling it out. That's stupid. Use your common sense. Chivalry is dead today because too many women got advice about men from other women who have absolutely no idea about men, period. Ladies, listen to me. Because they started up this question and they said, if you're dating a traditional guy, if you're dating a traditional guy and you're dating other men at the same time, you're a thought pocket. You're for the streets. If the dude that you're dating is much more modernly minded, he'll probably accept it to a degree. Maybe he just won't ask you about the shit. But traditional dude, definitely grounds for expulsion. Yo, imagine a dude that will only be a protector or a provider when a feminine woman comes around, as opposed to all women. It just wouldn't work. You would get the X from the door. But see, on the flip side, due to like feminist propaganda such as cosmopolitan it is now normalized in our culture for women to date multiple dudes at the same time to be playing the field which is modern to the highest degree but at the same time they want you to pay on the first date so you're modern but you accept the benefits of being traditional while also not being a traditional woman absurd you're missing my point you're literally taking it literally instead of reading in between the lines if if you're an alpha and you are comfortable within yourself and being confident in being confident, why does it matter if you're also with an alpha? Because those or someone who's also strong-minded, has because contains leader qualities. I'm not done. Contains leader qualities. Is there something funny? Yeah, you. Yeah. What's funny? You. I want to hear it. What's you. funny? You. I just feel like you haven't had a guest like this before, and you're just astonished. I don't. I'm not. I'm not worried. Concerned about you. I never said you were. Are you, Is that what I said? Are you mad? No. Is that what I said though? You so just what, put words in my mouth. I just snook, made a little smirk, and then you're mad. I'm asking you. Are you talking? Alpha, alpha woman? <laughs> what are you, Wonder Woman? Alpha, alpha, woman? Alpha, alpha, woman. alpha woman? Why a woman is so powerful? If you give her food, she'll give you a meal. You give her sperm, she'll give you a baby. You give her a house, she'll give you a home. You give her a smile, she'll give you a heart. But if you give her crap, she's gonna give you a ton of <laughs> so play with her. <laughs> I love that. Although the Western modern woman is the most delusional of all women's, one cannot deny that men and women are far better together than they are apart. But gents, we just must stay vigilant and ensure that we are picking the correct ones if we choose to pick of the Western modern woman, not go abroad. But I will say, it just seems like it's getting harder and harder to choose from like this new digital pseudo modern society where it seems as though attention and validation seeking is at an all time high on priority scales for the women of today. The best thing that I can say for you guys is continue to work on yourself to increase the caliber of man 
that you can be while only giving attention and awarding women that reach a certain caliber themselves. All of the simps and the white knights that are feeding the attention seeking and validation bullshit, just let them do their thing. But just remember, gents, if you're not actively working on yourself to get better, then you are actively working on yourself to get worse. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Boss on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Boss on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Breaking the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight guy. I'm reminded of my state, they